I want to not be a writer stereotype where like it's like oh all writers are addicted to caffeine but like I'm addicted to caffeine I'm not even gonna lie I can't I can't I can't break that stereotype hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Brooke if you're new here and if you're not new here you already know me today I'm going to be doing another editing vlog um the last one I did was like a writing slash editing vlog this one's gonna be all editing I had a goal to edit five chapters a week on my work in progress in June. I did not do that. I've edited like three chapters. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be trying to edit like two more and hopefully I can get at least like halfway through my goal by the end of the month. I don't know. I just was not feeling the editing. I never am feeling the editing. But where I'm gonna print out some chapters and I'm gonna try and do some editing. Okay, so I just finished editing one chapter. This is chapter four, I guess. This is a chapter that I had to rewrite, um, or not rewrite, but I added it in. So I mentioned this in my last vlog, but originally the two characters in the beginning that went home together, the guy was going to stay and it wasn't really gonna be a one night stand, but then that changed. And now in this new chapter I wrote, he's gone in the morning. When our main character wakes up and this changes a lot in my story because there were several things that were going to happen in that original chapter i printed out the original chapter i'm hoping to use some of it later do you ever just write a chapter and you just like it so much and you realize it's not gonna work and it's like why like i honestly i love this first chapter so much or first well the first chapter four that i wrote I'm so sad that I'm not going to get to use it and I'm hoping that I can like recycle some stuff and use it later but then also when I rewrote this new chapter four then it kind of changes a ton of stuff that's going to happen and my chapter five now doesn't really make sense I don't even know where that is is it this one no what Oh no, yeah, this is not good at all. Yeah, so I don't even know what's going on. What this is, oh, this is chapter five. Yeah, this is really gonna need a revamp. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this is really tough. Editing is not my favorite. I know it's a good chance to like to make the story better but at the same time I'm just like I don't want to do it why can't it just be good already <laughs> but anyways um I don't know like when I edit I, I feel like editing should take a lot longer than this and I don't know if it's because I'm not really truly editing I'm kind of just like I don't know what you would call this stage like I'm not revising I'm basically still like drafting um like i have like a first draft and now i feel like i'm kind of just like i don't even know what i'm doing <laughs> i don't know but now i have so many chapters that i absolutely cannot use or i have to change them like immensely and i feel like now that i changed this first part so much of the first part of my story doesn't flow but i really needed to change it so yeah well we're gonna see what happens but i have one more chapter down so that is a total of four chapters that i've gone through i think i might have to end up doing some actual writing but i think i'm gonna do some editing on these to try and make it work first i guess i 
I don't know, but uh, stay tuned for that and I'll let you know how it's going after. And um, yeah, I think I really want more coffee, but it's four o'clock and I've had two already and I just feel like that much caffeine isn't good for you. Is it like, I want to not be a writer stereotype where like, it's like, oh, all writers are addicted to caffeine, but like, I'm addicted to caffeine. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't, I can't, I can't break that stereotype. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. We're just going to continue with this. Okay, so I switched to editing on my computer because uh, I realized that I needed to really, really rewrite chapter five. It just wasn't working because it doesn't fit with the story anymore, but it's not going terribly. Um, it's at like 1500 words. I need to kind of bring that up a little bit. I'm concerned about what chapter six looks like and if it is going to fit. I think it might with, I'm not going to say minimal, but like medium amounts of tweaking to the actual chapter, but we'll see. I think I'm going to update my plot wall in a little bit. Um, if you guys watched my previous video, I showed you my plot wall that I have for this. Uh, novel. If you can see this card back here, that's the start of my plot wall for my fantasy novel. Obviously there's not much going on with that yet. Um, I think that this is going to be my NaNoWriMo project. I hadn't decided yet whether or not I wanted this to be what I was going to work on during uh, Camp NaNo. Sorry, why did I say NaNo? Like, Camp NaNo. I hadn't decided whether I was going to work on this romance novel or my new fantasy novel. I was so stoked about this fantasy novel too, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna plot this during NaNo, and I decided, I don't know, I kind of decided that I wasn't going to because, I don't know, I was just, I think, I think I should really focus on this one because I don't want to lose myself in the fantasy work in progress and then not just leave this on the back burner. I don't want to leave this for too long. I really want to figure out this first draft. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear in the background right now, but it just started like pouring outside and I'm so here for it. I'm so excited. It is so nice. I love storms, especially when I'm reading or writing. It is honestly my favorite thing. It is one of my favorite things. So this is I just, I hate rewriting chapters because I get so attached to what I write. It's like, it's just like my little baby and I don't want to erase it. I'm not erasing it. I'm, I'm doing this in a new document because obviously I don't get rid of anything. I'm like a, I'm like a word hoarder. I don't know. But, so hopefully this is going to go well. I'm going to write a little bit more. I don't know what that was. I think it's a bird. Uh, I'm gonna write a little bit more and then hopefully finish this chapter and then update my plot wall question mark I think I might do chapter six first which is on the floor right now I don't know if you saw me put it down there but I have quite a small desk so I don't really have a ton of room for for stuff uh, but I'm hoping eventually I've had this desk since I was like 12 or maybe even younger than that I swear I've had this desk for so long so I'm hoping to buy a new one eventually but I think first I want to buy a bookcase I have so many things that I want to buy I just you know 
But anyways, okay, so I'm going to edit, finish editing chapter five, and then I'm gonna do chapter six, which hopefully won't take as long. Just a little update so chapter what is this chapter five is complete ish uh yeah i don't know i mean i'm super hungry so i don't know if i'm gonna do chapter six right now maybe maybe not i don't know why i didn't do any editing yesterday it's sunday today i really should have done some editing yesterday but i didn't so oh well but this is good progress this is uh, one, two, this is five chapters. I don't know why I had to count. Uh, yeah, so it's honestly pretty decent. Yeah, I'm hoping that I can get this done. And when I say done, I mean I need to have a draft that is basically follows the storyline that I want it to follow in the end, if that makes sense. So. Right now, I don't think I have the right scenes, and I want to have all the right scenes that I want kind of to end up in my novel, and then just be kind of tweaking things at the end. I don't know how to edit, I don't know the process of editing, and it honestly just like stresses me out so much because it kind of feels like it's never going to end, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I'm never going to be happy with the final project, and I think that that's totally a real thing. Like, you kind of just have to be like, okay, here it is, and you have to just learn to be happy with it because I don't think it's ever going to be perfect in your own eyes. But yeah, so I'm going to save this up, I'm going to go have some food, and then hopefully I will come back and I don't just desert this for the rest of the night. Okay, so I'm back. It is Monday. So the last clips that you saw, it was Sunday. Now it is Monday uh, afternoon slash evening. It's 4.30. I just finished work for the day. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of editing before my boyfriend gets home and we're gonna eat supper because I am starving. So I have about half an hour. Where did I leave off even? So I was editing chapter five and I remember <laughs> looking at chapter six and being like, oh my God, what is this? It looks like I ended chapter five and then kind of didn't like link it up with the next chapter. So not only does it not make sense now because of the changes I've made, it didn't even make sense in the beginning. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, to be honest. Like, can we just figure things out here, please? <laughs> but I'm just gonna open my file. I was editing chapter five. I made a ton of edits. I put it into double-spaced text because, like I said before, it was atrocious. And yeah, we have some good interaction between the main character and her best friend, uh, like her best guy friend in this chapter. Now, I think it's really good. So, I've ended this chapter and now I have to start the next chapter, I guess, with the main character and the love interest on a date it seems like. I don't know where this chapter is going to go. I feel like I'm taking out so many chapters, I'm just like not even going to have any words left after this. Like I had like 65k and now I'm going to have like 50k. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I'm really hangry right now, so I could eat, but I know that I'm not going to really get much editing done tonight, so here's what I'm going to have to do. I edited chapter five, so we have five chapters edited, hallelujah. That's what I was supposed to do in one week this month, and I've done it in three. I'm so behind, okay. So, five chapters, done. Now we have chapter six, which is gonna have to be completely rewritten. I'm just gonna 
put that on here because I need to know what's going on because I have the worst memory in the entire flipping world. I'm, I am going to say I do not hate editing as much as I did in the beginning because it's actually pretty nice being able to kind of like see my story come together if that makes sense. So I don't know. So I'm writing the first date scene. That is what I'm going to be writing in a few minutes. I should probably do a little bit of research to be honest like I feel like I should look up like anatomy of a first date because a first date in real life and a first date in movies or in books is not the same thing let's be honest <laughs> except these people did meet on tinder kind of so I mean I feel like that's pretty spot on anatomy of a first date and why don't we go first date in romance novels. I don't know what I'm doing. No, this is just bringing up romance novels. The 10 best first dates in literature. How to write a first date. It's like I've never used Google before. Aha! Well, this is like a Reddit article. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, there's not a lot of information about this. Like, is this something that people should just know? Like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been on enough first dates to know how to write one. Like, where do you go when you're like 30 and you're going on a first date? Like, I don't, like dinner? I don't know, like that's where I, that's what I do, but like I'm not 30. I feel like that makes it even weirder because like people that are like in your early 20s I feel like you should go on like a well, not should but I feel like a lot of people just go on first dates to like a bar but like it's not really my character's like thing coffee is a hundred percent but I have literally done so many scenes where she's drinking coffee people are bringing her coffee whatever so they cannot go for coffee so I think he's gonna ask her to dinner because I feel like that makes it sound like more serious and like it sounds like, oh, like it wasn't a one night stand. Let's see, he's going to ask her to dinner. God, this is making me hungry now. Are they gonna go right away? Probably not. Maybe they go on, they go late, like on Friday. So that, leaves time for a chapter with her and Joel who is the best friend slash love interest but not the new love interest if that makes sense so maybe they go on a date to dinner on Friday it's Monday right now in the book I believe no it's Sunday oh okay so they go like the following Friday so that that leaves time for a chapter to like develop her relationship with her long time like childhood best friend who she is also in love with leaves time for a chapter between her and joel okay okay good that still doesn't help me write the first date scene but now i don't have to write it yet and now i've replaced this one chapter with two chapters so literally somebody just said if your main character's in their 30s i could totally see like a a restaurant thingy if they're in college, not so much. Okay. Yes. I feel like that's so unoriginal though, like a restaurant date. Maybe I should look up fun first date ideas. <laughs> also, okay. Let me like go through these because I feel like so many of these, if this like, I just would like not want this as a first date. Like, okay. These are honestly so bad. Bowling, first of all. I do not want to have to do something on a first date where I'm going to go and like, number one, just have like the biggest chance of embarrassing myself. Like, there are so many things that could go wrong if you're going bowling on a first date. Plus, like, I don't know. I just don't really think that's like an adult activity. Like, when I think of bowling, I think of like little kids' birthday parties, you know? Check out a workout class. Really, is that what you want to do on a first date? You want to go and get all like sweaty and disgusting and like, you're not going to like talk during a workout class either. You're just going to like, I would, I would be out of breath and dying. Uh, mini golf is like, 
super cliche but like kind of chill I guess like I don't necessarily know if I would want to do it but do I sound like too picky <laughs> okay number four ride a roller coaster at a theme park okay like fun I guess but also I get motion sick so that'd be awful sing at a karaoke bar I feel like that is a pretty self-explanatory bad idea who no go rock climbing I think that's super cool I would do that but again if you have never rock climbed before you're not gonna go rock climbing on a first date attend a comedy night that is like a thing for me I don't get when you go on a first date and you go somewhere where you like can't have a conversation like these next three a comedy night watching a movie watching live music you can't learn anything about each other like you're just gonna have to go and like sit in silence like I feel like that's awful dine in a, dine in a restaurant yes take a sunset stroll okay cool but like also like a little bit weird <laughs> visit an art gallery I am not into art gallery like not that I'm not into art but like I do not enjoy museums or art galleries and like I would not want to go there on a first date but I mean if you're into that if you guys are both into that then cool skating I would do that but again for the um cordon coordination if you're not coordinated <laughs> that would probably not be the best idea take a picnic that's adorable I've never gone on a picnic like with a boyfriend like on a date so that that'd be cool volunteer uh zoo take a cooking class I feel like taking a cooking class is something you do when you've been together for like two years play a board game go for breakfast oh my god I got it they're going to go for brunch I freaking love brunch does anybody else love brunch that is my favorite meal of the day like give me some french toast and hash browns and like sausage and like eggs like any kind of eggs oh I love eggs benedict have you guys ever had that because it's incredible look it up it's like poached eggs with like buttery like sauce on top oh my god it's so good I love brunch I would eat brunch for every meal if I could and like it's not like lunch brunch like it's like breakfast brunch so I guess I really just like breakfast but if, if you call it brunch you can pretend that it's also lunch okay they're going for brunch I don't know where but they're going for brunch originally when he stayed the night and didn't leave in the morning they ordered skip the dishes and they ordered brunch okay perfect even though that was not helpful at all it gave me ideas good morning guys it is Wednesday the 24th and I just got I just had a shower my hair is super wet I have coffee um, and it's the lighting is really bad in here because it's morning but so I think this morning I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, plotting with my plot wall so I have a couple scenes that I need to write out on note cards I'm gonna do that really quick and then we'll go over there and we'll figure that out interesting um, somebody had commented on that wall and said that it was cool so I thought I would show it a bit more um, yeah I don't know it's something that I've done since I was younger I had like a wall in my room when I was a kid and I didn't it wasn't like this but it was to do with like whatever I had been writing and like quotes and like posters and stuff and um, yeah not that I was a cool kid but <laughs> so we added in or like we like replaced what did we replace we replaced chapters four five and six and then i added in 
like a new chapter seven but left the old chapter seven because i don't know what's happening there yet so i have three chapters to write so i have to write a chapter which is chapter six that develops um our two like main characters relationship like the best friend and the main character i i wrote four and five already question mark <laughs> This is what happens when you like, you edit over like a bunch of days, you just forget. So I've written chapters four and five. We need to write chapter six, which is going to be a scene or a chapter to develop our main character and her best friend's relationship, the guy best friend. And then chapter seven is going to be the first date of our main character and her new love interest. That's that, and I guess I have to write now, I'm putting it off.